We've got a mixture of some sun and clouds out there this afternoon. That sunshine helping to warm us up and brighten things up after a morning of rain showers in parts of the Southern Valley. So working our way into the 70s out there. Some of us already approaching the 80 degree mark in Jamestown. That's our warm spot at 81 there in the moment. In a moment, we'll see probably some of these places getting into the 80s as well. The Oaks area back down towards Sisseton, even Fargo, we're at 78 degrees, not far off from that. So eastern North Dakota, especially seeing some warmer temperatures, but even into Minnesota, all of us are now at least at 70 degrees and we'll work our way up from there. Wind is variable for direction. We are seeing some stronger speeds up to the north and we're into the teens to about 20 there and with the front approaching and moving through we'll see some changes in that wind as well as some chances for some more rain and thunderstorms coming up for this afternoon so you can see most of us enjoying at least some partly cloudy skies and a lot of mostly sunny conditions up north and to the west but there are some areas where we've got a little more cloud cover down into Richland County back into Lakes Country in Minnesota some clouds surrounding the Red Lake areas right now and then out to the West, you can see that there's some showers around Bismarck at the moment. We'll zoom out a little bit more. This is the area we're going to be keeping an eye on as we head in further into the afternoon and into uh, this evening as that system gets closer and closer. We'll watch for storms to move in and storms to just simply develop in the valley too as we heat things up and it gets more unstable. So here's a look at our hour by hour planner. Expect to have some areas of rain and thunder starting to develop late afternoon. Temperatures will be into those 70s to some low 80s. Anywhere we get one of those passing showers that will stop the temperature rise, start us to cool down a little bit in some areas. And here we are looking at those storms ongoing in the five o'clock hour. Now this may be a situation where we're looking at Southern Valley and out West again, for storms and perhaps up to the northeast, we don't see as much of that unsettled weather. Seven o'clock, more storms coming in and more storms developing and continuing into the evening hours tonight. So we may get a couple of rounds of storms affecting us. And some of these again could reach severe limits here as we head into the evening hours and overnight and this continues into tomorrow morning before it kind of fizzles out and gives way to some quieter conditions at least to start the day on Saturday. So here's a look at our severe thunderstorm risk for your Friday afternoon and evening. It's not a great threat but the potential is there that a couple of these storms could produce some severe uh, conditions for us. We're talking wind gusts to 75 miles per hour hail that's a greater than an inch in diameter can't rule out an isolated tornado especially on the Minnesota side of our viewing area but really we are looking at uh, more hail and wind being the main threats with this system and that includes a good portion of the valley here tonight now we're heading back into tomorrow morning we're starting off again relatively quiet though there could still be some spotty showers lingering in the morning hours uh, but still a little bit on the cloudy side too as we head into the afternoon more of those storms and rain showers get going again and we're looking at the potential for some scattered rain and thunder heading into Saturday afternoon and evening and a cooler day too as well thanks to that cloud cover that's sticking around so not the nicest Saturday in the world though if you want some sunshine the best bet for that is yet again up to the northeast around the Lake of the Woods area into Sunday we'll have some lingering areas of rain eventually that does move on and we'll see some clearing skies and temperatures into the mid 60s and Back to the 70s next week, but still unsettled. So we're just kind of stuck in this pattern right now where we have several rounds of active weather moving through. And again, tonight we're looking at another round of potential severe weather. You'll want to make sure you're paying attention, have that Valley News Live weather app ready to go so you can get alerts and check on the radar if you're going to be outside. Of course, and but it looks like Sunday. Sunday will a little be... Better the better day second half of the day there are, there are moments in the weekend where it will be okay but we do have that chance for rain in between all right thank you lisa